guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first video of 2017. First things first, a new lighting situation going on here. Um, well not new, I guess, oh, anyway. When I first started on YouTube, I only had the two softbox lights and then I switched to just a diva ring light. So now I'm trying all three at the same time to see you know, how that looks. So let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this setup. I feel like it's a little too bright, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys like it or not. Um, anywho, so like the title says, I am doing a review on a widely talked about powder here, uh, just in the beauty community in general. However, I don't really see too many uh, darker skin tones talking about this product and when it comes to translucent you know no color showing powders darker skin tones get a little weary because you know they might leave like a white cast on your face um, you know you got to worry about the whole flash thing and all that good stuff there so I am going to test not only that powder out but I'm going to compare it to another very popular powder within the beauty community. So if you want to know about them, then stay tuned. So this is the RCMA No Color Powder. This retails for $12 for three ounces. Yeah, you get all of this for 12 ounces. Um, don't mind uh, my nails, I've got makeup all over the place. I, and if you see particles flying around in the air, that's what happens when you're dealing with a loose powder. Um, so my apologies for that. However, this powder claims to be the perfect natural setting powder for all skin types. No color powder contains absolutely no pigment, no perfume, no fillers, and will never alter your foundation shade or natural skin tone. It will set your makeup with a flawless finish that will cause no flashback. Those are pretty serious claims. So I just, you know, hope it lives up to them. Um, another popular powder in the beauty community, which I don't really need like an introduction and explanation because I'm pretty sure by now, it's been like, what, three, four years now this has been really popular. You don't really need to hear much else. It is the Laura Mercier setting powder. I did a product showdown between this and the Cody, Cody? Yeah, I couldn't pronounce it then, can't pronounce it now. Um, Airspun powder. That was a product showdown. This is more so just like a comparison because I've, like I've mentioned, I've already tried this. You guys have already seen this in a video. Um, spoiler alert, would I recommend them both? Absolutely. Um, I'll tell you why later on. I just want to see literally like, like how they compare wearing one on each side of my face. The only thing though I need to point out about this Laura translucent setting powder is that it retails for 35, 30, like 30, 35 dollars. Yeah, so $12 versus $35. So I'm going to be starting out with RCMA on this side of my face and I found the best way to use this because, ooh, ooh okay, loose particles, uh, because when you do open it, it's got this annoying little, you know, t lid here that makes it hard, ooh, Jesus, to get um, the product out. So I unscrew the top like so, all right, there's just going to be powder flying everywhere. And then I actually pour some into the lid of the Laura Mercier uh, lid and use it that way. And then using one of those disposable sponges, I use the bottom to apply it onto my face. I'm just going to apply the Laura Mercier to the other side of my face. Okay, so while I bake my face, I just want to point out some things that you may have noticed. And if you didn't, I'm just going to let you know like there's a difference. Um, there's definitely more fallout when applying this, uh, the RCMA on your face than the Laura on your face. Um, yeah, there are still particles flying all over the air. You might want to think about that depending on, you know, like if you get dressed before you do your makeup, after, if you have something you're wearing that you don't want products all over. Also, this has a true, like, white color to it, while the Laura kind of has a beige tone to it. What I've found baking with translucent powders, especially for dark skin, is that you don't want to do it for long. So I would suggest two minutes tops and then just brush it off. <music> So here is my full face. It's not really much, but I'm not really going anywhere. Just chilling in my house today. It is now 1 0. Oh, oh did, is it showing? Is it focused? It's this new lighting. Um, it's 101. I'm going to do a wear test, a flash test, and I'm just going to test out how these wear throughout the day. So stay tuned. Okay, so I am back and it is okay. Uh, my phone died. It was dying before I even left, so it's on the charger. The TV box says it's seven, 
seven, fifteen. 16? Um, yeah, I'm blind as a bat. I'm supposed to wear glasses, but I don't do that in videos. It's seven something. That looks like a six. It's seven something. So it's been about, what, six hours, I believe. And this is what my face looks like. Just as a reminder, this is the RCMA side. This is the Laura Mercier side. Okay, so just to go over some things that I noticed when I first applied it, uh, when I wore it, to how it looks on my face right now. The RCMA really has no color. Like, there is no cast on your face. It really, like it says, just sets your makeup and sets to your natural skin, your natural uh, foundation color that you put on your face and you know concealer all that other good stuff um, the Laura has a slight and I mean slight cast to it and it's not a white cast it's um it's kind of like the actual color of the Laura powder how it has that beige color it kind of gives that beige cast on your face after a while and I've noticed it before and as you can see I still recommend it I still wear it all the time um, I noticed it a while ago I never felt it was anything that you know worth pointing out however when you have it on one side of your face um against one that has no color it makes it more noticeable but if you have lower on both sides of your face and you set your whole face um with the laura powder like you're not it's not going to be anything that's like a problem when you're um when you're wearing it i will insert a clip on this side right now of the flash test with the rcma and now i will insert a picture of a flash test with the Laura um with the Laura powder and I feel the only other thing people really worry about is uh oil control when it comes to powders I don't do either of these powders claim to control oil let's see uh, we'll set your makeup with a flawless finish with no flashback I don't remember if either of these powders claim to you know control oil however they both do a good job at controlling oil uh, like I've mentioned before, I am combo oily skin and it's been about six hours and I feel like it's just like right here, like right around my nose area and a little bit on my chin is where oil is starting to show after, you know, six hours. It's still a pretty matte face. Um, so yeah, this is why I mentioned before that although I was comparing these two just to see how, you know, they compare against each other I would definitely recommend them both because literally like the only difference I can tell is um, the you know the white cast that um, one side shows that the other one does not and you know the fact that one is $12 and the other one is 35 okay so that is it for this video I hoped the information that I gave on these two powders have helped in your decision of whether or not you're gonna try one over the other or them both make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.